there is this part is that we have to systematically through self-awareness eliminate and get rid of stuff that is going to hold you down and hold you being a person and hold you wounded and keeps you in this state of being a victim which a lot of us love that we are fed by it we're crazy about that and we don't want to get out of that one because that's a good one you know we want it badly and i'm going to tell you what that is and that is about this victim mentality poor me this has happened to me i got screwed My ex, he screwed me over. He took all the money and dumped me with the kids. Um, I was young, I was naive, I married this person and this happened to me. My parents, they did this to me. My dad did that to me. My mom did that to me. There's all kinds of stories. I mean, we can all sit down and come up with so many different variations of different stories that have happened to us. And, and when we tell the story to somebody else, uh, and you know, they nod and they agree and maybe they cry with you and you have some ice cream together and they say, poor you, feel so bad for you for what has happened to you. And it's continuously keeps going and feeding off of itself. But at one point, in your spiritual development you have you get to this point that you have to pass beyond this you need to move on otherwise there's no way you can go to a higher level of consciousness it's impossible you can say all the right words do all the right things that you think you're doing and you got all the good intentions and carry, carry, you know, wear the dress the way you like to dress and look very spiritual, use the spiritual language, but you haven't evolved and haven't gone beyond the victim mentality because you're still in this place of seeing the world that there is another. Others do exist. There's others. There's you and there's others. Yet you want oneness. Oneness means everything. Oneness means everything is one. The ugly, the beautiful, the mean person and the sweet person, they're all one. They're all one. So as you start to expand and you, and you're getting closer in this expansion expansion of your consciousness and you're coming out of this individual human being which is experiencing life of being separated and being a victim and being helpless into this state of expansion realizing that wait a minute every sim everything that has happened to me all the experiences that i've gone through in this life everyone who came in my life and did something to me to damage me whether i was five years old or 15 or 50 years old they play the part as if there has been a contract in between us that they would show up in my life in this particular life in this scenario in this movie in this 
episode. You know, you know, like these movies you're watching on Netflix or Amazon, and there, there's a lot of good stuff that is like series, like episode one to fifteen, season one, season two, season three. Every season has like ten or fifteen episodes, and some of them are really wonderful. It just keeps you captivated, and you keep watching it. So this is one of the episodes or one of the seasons. Okay, so you're in this season of your life and it has got all these different episodes happening. And in one of the early episodes of your life, you, or a few different episodes, that you were done, someone did something wrong to you. You've been cheated, you've been screwed over whatever is the story you've trusted this man you fall in love with him you gave him your heart and he cheated you after after a few years he left you for somebody else and and this thing is there in you and you can't get over it and you keep carrying it over and over again constantly you're carrying the story Whatever is the story, you never met your soulmate. You never hooked up with the woman of your dreams, with the man of your dreams, with the one. And now you're carrying this story. You're blaming life or blaming something on that. What I'm saying is you need to pay attention. You need to turn, turn your attention inwards rather than worried about constantly putting your attention on the news in the world of what's going to happen in the future because that's what the news is what's going to happen to you in the future is bringing your attention inwards and look at what is happening in you right now so not postponing self-realization and and putting it based on somebody else and putting it on yourself and take a look. Take a look inside. What's going on inside? What are you occupied with all the time? What is your story? What's holding you back? What are you occupied most of the time with? Pay attention. Write it down. Start writing down every day. Where is your mind where is your heart? What part are you stuck with? What's the story that goes on for you? What is this tape, that broken record that keeps repeating itself? Pay attention to that. You need to look at it. And become aware of it. And it's scary because there is a deep attachment and investment in a lot of people on the story because I know because I work with a lot of you I work with a lot of people on one-on-one -on -one basis or group basis and they are very attached to their story and when I bring it up the ego comes and gets very angry and really defends the story and that story is what keeps you away from what, where you want to get to. And that's why you don't get to where you want to get to. And you suffer, consequently. Because that's the name of the game. If you didn't suffer, you wouldn't even waste your time for two minutes listening to me or listening to any spiritual teacher or reading any spiritual books. If everything was going your way, you would have never come this direction. The only way we come in this direction is because something inside us is nagging. There's this nagging voice that there is something else and there is something more and we're looking for freedom.